somebody out there? E.T. Video game? It's the video game that lets you pretend you're E.T. Running away from secret agents, falling into danger, finding a phone to call home, and discovering the best thing on earth. A friend. E.T. Only from Atari. To kick off this film and video game series, I wanted to look at everyone's favorite finger-glowing alien who just wants to go home, E.T., and how a film that encapsulates childlike imagination like no other film has done before can turn into something like this. Before getting into the game, let me do a quick rundown on the movie. It was directed by legendary filmmaker Steven Spielberg, with the memorable score coming from the equally legendary John Williams, starring a short, lovable alien creature known as E.T., and being the inspiration for many children's nightmare fueled dreams. Alright, now onto this dumpster fire. The game is described as an adventure game. Wait, adventure? L let me look this up. An unusual and exciting, typically hazardous, experience or activity. Alright, fair enough. The objective of the game is the same as the movie's plot, to get E.T. home. So far, so good, right? Well, here's where it starts to go downhill. Designer Howard Scott Warshaw was given the rights to make the video game in July 1982. However, with those rights came a deadline. Howard had to have the game made before the Christmas season that year. That gave Howard five and a half weeks to come up with an entire game. And as we know, the most quality forms of entertainment come for those that are rushed. Just look at the DCEU, for example. I said, I don't have to do this game. I said, if you want to do this game, go ahead. Who would like to do E.T.? Nobody raised their hand. So I said, okay, I'll do E.T. <laughs> and, and I just did it. This game is considered one of the biggest commercial failures in video game history. Which is kind of ironic since this film is historically known as the biggest commercial success for a product placement with Reese's Pieces. There was even an urban legend that millions of unsold cartridges were secretly buried in a New Mexico landfill and covered with a layer of concrete. Sounds ridiculous, right? Well, as a matter of fact, it turned out to be true. In 2014, Diggers uncovered an estimated 728,000 video game cartridges, among them were E.T., with one of those cartridges fetching $1,535 at auction. Now that's an expensive game without microtransactions. Well, I happen to have found a copy of the game, so without further ado, let's play! All right, this is it. This is the game. Let's give it a try. Um, just trying to figure out the controls. All right. All right, looks like I'm in some sort of forest. Uh, oh. I take it the arrows are telling me... Oh. Okay. His head stretches. All right. Um... Right, down. Oh. Oh, what is this? Is that some sort of flasher? Oh my god. Oh, it fell into a hole. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Okay. So E.T. can fly in this game. I don't know if that's canon. I fell back into the hole. Oh, boy. Alright. Up. Put, why is E.T.'s head still, like, way up? What is that dot on the ground? Oh, I picked it up. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a little flower! That's nice. Alright, what do, Oh, he's got a little... Oh, there's a little smiley face at the top. Okay, he's not... he's not leaving. Oh, there he goes again. Okay, never mind. We're running out of time, or points. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, he's... He really likes putting me in this little coliseum. Wait, what? Have I gone up yet? Left. Up. Down. Left. 
What? What kind of directions are these? What are we gonna do with this dot? I don't know. Oh, there's another dot. Oh, I'm gonna get to the dot. How come he can just walk over the holes? What is he, Jesus? Oh. You know what's funny? As I was preparing for this game again, I decided to watch ET. And I completely forgot about certain aspects of that film that probably went over my head as a kid. I completely forgot that the. Okay, he's got me again. Anyway, I completely forgot that the uh, father was like off in. What the fuck is happening? Okay. Anyway, I completely forgot the father was off like banging some woman in Mexico, maybe? I can't remember. Maybe you ought to call your father and tell him about it. I can't. He's in Mexico with Sally. Okay, here we go. I've got the instructions straight from an Atari 2600 manual, which I did have to look up online. I, I will not make it seem like I dug it out of somewhere. Uh, Alright, what do we got here? E.T. Move E.T. by pushing the stick in any direction. Okay, we, we got that down. Uh, run. Hold the fire button and move the stick. What is the fire button? Let's get out of this hole first and see if we... No! Can you run? Oh, he can run! He run! He ran! He just can't run in pits. Oh, game one has both FBI agent and the scientist. Oh, it's a scientist. Alright, I figured one of them was an FBI agent, but... So which one's the scientist? The one with the baseball cap? Wait, this one? Scientist is a bro. FBI just looks like a flasher. <laughs> FBI agent. He looks like a man wearing an orange trench coat. Okay. Yeah. Got him. Uh, I can't even read the next step because this FBI agent won't leave me alone. Here we go. Um... If he touches you, he will steal one phone piece you've managed to collect and rehide it. If you haven't found any pieces yet, he will take you other take all your Reese's. Oh, there's Reese's peanut. Okay. Reese's pieces are in this game too. See? So these the dot must be the Reese's pieces. Yeah, look, it looks totally like a Reese's piece. Look, he's going to take it. <gasps> he did. He did take my Reese's pieces. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Oh, Elliot is in this game. Elliot, ah, your only friend. Elliot only makes his appearance when you call. Um, or, oh, or if you die. So that was Elliot that came at the end. That's pretty depressing. Okay. So Elliot only appears if you die. Oh, look at his speed! Look at, oh, he can't get me. Yeah, that's right. Wait, I, do I gain points if I get a Reese's Pieces? Okay. Look at Elliot, he's like moonwalking all the way down. Okay, one Reese, get away from me. Perf. How did I fall into a hole? There was... Okay, you know what? No, no! Get away from my Reese's. This whole, th this whole game is just a marketing for Reese's. I got three. Oh! Okay, so you can't touch it at all. What? What? Oh, I should probably follow the arrow. Stop dying, E.T. Oh, what is this? There's more. Wait, that was my final score? I wonder what the record is for this game. This E.T. can go kiss my ass. Okay, you know what, E.T.? Let, hey, let go of me! Oh, that's right, the scientist brings me back here. Yeah. Great security system, by the way. He, I, <sighs> he can't 
can't he doesn't go that far. ET's greatest weakness is cardio. Points. Yeah, he oh he's carrying a dead body. I hope he knows that. Come get me, Bert. So does Elliot bury ET in his backyard? Is that what happens now? That is a very different ending from the film. So here's the deal. I spent nearly an hour on this game, and I still didn't come anywhere close to the end. At least I don't think I did. So I decided to find the ending and show all of you, and the climax is about as exciting as you'd imagine. That's it. We made it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a subscribe, and maybe comment down below any other movies turned games you'd like me to cover. Take care.